Hola. Hola, senorita. <laughs> so we just stopped and put fuel in. Bloody hell. Put your foot down, mate. This bypass that we're on, don't like it one bit. Um, we are on our way to... Ah, surprise. That was a nice. Oh, isn't it? Uh, Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Um, somewhere Stephen's always wanted to go. We were going to go on a holiday a few years ago and never made it. Uh, but yeah, he has always wanted to go. So that's where we are on our way to. There's an air just outside of Gibraltar and apparently you can walk in. Um, we just stopped for some more fuel. Another 108 euros in the tank. Yep. Which worked out too. <laughs> £94 something. Um, I did my costings report yesterday. How much did I say we spent on diesel in December? Oh. That was including the UK and uh, going to visit friends before we left the UK. I think it was six hundred and eighty pounds. Yeah, I said. What did I say? It's eight hundred or something. Oh no, you said six hundred and it was like six hundred and ten, I think. Right, yeah. But I am going to publish that on our website at the end of the trip, so it's got all of our costings on there. Not missed well, anything. We'll do a blog on it. Yeah, I've not missed sure. anything out. Um, so yeah, we are, and um, obviously, Benny Dawn cost us a lot of money. We partied hard. <laughs> we did. So yes, we will see what Gibraltar's like. Everybody's convinced me I should go up and see the monkeys, even though I really don't want to go and see the monkeys. <laughs> oh, that's not a monkey, is it? Yeah. How is it? I thought it was a gym. Bar Barber and apes they are apparently, but they can be quite vicious and they try and nick your stuff. So I'll have to put my contact lenses in and like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my bag and stuff like that. I don't know. I might do some research before we do it. So we're hoping for two days in Gibraltar. I can relax a little bit, not feel like I've got to run around and do it in a day um, and try and get a bit better. Yes, indeed. That's you need to. Why? Because the trip's just going to get more and more epic. Uh, <laughs> I feel like being constantly on the road vlogging, constantly on the road vlogging. It's just me. It's not like give me a chance to get better because I'm never really sitting down and relaxing am I? No, I can't do the editing because... No, I had one to do last night and he was like, do you want me to do it? And I, was, and I was like, I just have to talk you through it so I might as well just do it myself, it's quicker. Um, but yeah, you do... Well, I did offer. You do need to learn it. I do, I did offer but like you say, I was going to learn with iMovie and then you decide as well grade to Final Cut Pro, which, yeah. I it's just iMovie on steroids, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in the summer, while we're working, I am gonna sit down and teach him to edit because it's a lot of pressure on one person. Yes, I'm willing to take on the challenge. <laughs> uh, and he's getting on with the MacBook a lot better than you used to, aren't you? With the what? The, Ma the MacBook. Yeah, I've been having to play with it, getting used to it, because obviously there's it's not a laptop, but a Windows variety, is it? No. So we will pick you up when we get to Gibraltar. Um, we've done a shop at Mercadona in Benal Medina. We just walked up and Mercadona, 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 Mercadona whatever you say. Um, yeah, in Benal Medina because it was just up the road, five minute walk up the road from where we were. We just walked up, carried the bags, but Steve had carried the heavy bags. It's, it's, it's more it works out more value for money shopping there than the Aldi's, is it, did we say? Found Aldi over here to be quite expensive to be fair and I don't know if it's what I'm buying. Um but yeah they're not they're not that cheap. So the Mer the Mercadonas do seem to be a bit better value for money. Um and a little, I've been in a little and that was not too bad either. So that's what we're gonna try and shop in from now on. Keep costs down, do free airs or cheap airs and free park ups from now on in it. I think so, yeah. I think uh, that's our plan from now. Try and keep the costs down in January because December's were pretty high. Uh, yeah, so I will pick you up when we get to Gibraltar on this air if we can get on. Apparently there's over 100 spaces so we should hopefully be able to get on. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see a problem. You can't seem to book anything online, which I like to do because I don't like rocking up to places and not knowing that I can get on. But we have to roll with these things, so I'll see you in a bit. And there it is, ladies and gents, the Rock of Gibraltar. Happy? I don't know, I will be when I'm up there. <laughs> and I get on that runway. Let's see if we can get on this air. Here I am, 
right in front of you look at me when I say I'm sure what I'm doing so please let me stay till the morning comes and take me away so please let me stay never mind to apologize our mistakes here and now and I love explode show me how you do it all right are you thinking about it so we parked up at the marina on the air and we're now going to go up the rock. Top of the rock. See some scary monkeys. I don't know how I feel about this. So there's the rock of Gibraltar. When you get down here without falling. And there we have the runway where it starts and then goes over to that. I mean, this is border control to get into Gibraltar, so we better get our passports ready. We're through the border, we're allowed into Gibraltar. Yep, stamped passport. So you go through the Spanish side into the Gibraltar side, so keep your passports handy until you're all the way through, because I put mine away. So that's where we're headed up there. It's going to get cable car, because me and Lynn feel rubbish. Now crossing the famous runway which goes across the road. Um, I'll spin you around and show you that obviously it's open so there's no planes landing or taking off at the minute but oh. this is what Mr Price wanted to come and see. This is my many years of wanting to do bless this walk across this runway. He's a weirdo. This is it folks. Other than getting on a coach to get on a plane, it's the first time we've ever walked across a runway. And up there is the rock. So we'll see if we can get up there. We should have got on a bus. So he's walking. So just over there is the Gibraltar Cradle of History monument. And there's a the petrol station. And that's in the UK. UK prices. Diesel 109. Never seen it that cheap in the UK for a long time. It's just not worth driving the van over though. The roads are pretty busy here, but they've got one of these bridges that goes over the road for the pedestrians. That's pretty good. So far we've found that it's pretty much England. It's all in pounds. Yeah. We haven't got any. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going up there. Right the way up there. Hold on. Up there. And that's what we're hoping to go on. One of those. <laughs> so we just bought our tickets. £36. Pounds. Return? Yeah, return. Not walking down from up there, but it's still expensive. If you do come, there are touts outside saying there's over an hour wait. Um, it's not going to be over an hour. It'll be a while, but it's not over an hour. They're just trying to get to take you up in the minibuses, so don't do it. Cause we I think we've been about 15 minutes. 15 minutes to get tickets, not that bad. And we've got six, six uh, no. No, it's six minutes for a car to go yeah. and then down. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be an hour. No. Not, not that much of a rush anyway. And I want to go up in the cable car. Yeah, <laughs> more fun. <laughs>
How cool is this little guy? He's just having a chill. He's brilliant. How cute are them lot? Oh, they're so cute. Can I have one? <laughs> Check this one out, it's proper flat out. <laughs> What do you think of the Barbary macaques? The what? The Barbary macaques, the monkeys. Oh right, uh, yeah they're cool. They are pretty cool. They're pretty cool, yeah. So far we've not had anything nicked, thank god, but um, there is signs everywhere saying don't bring plastic bags. And somebody did. Somebody did. I think and the they minute they, they walked out of there they were snatched. They did it gone. on purpose. I think they, they did, yeah. yeah. But you can get fined for feeding yeah, the monkeys, so you're not supposed to. <laughs> Look at all these little guys. <laughs> Pulls up. These are babies. He's <laughs> <laughs> the bouncer. He's the bouncer. So that's the sun setting on a wonderful day in Gibraltar. Absolutely brilliant place. Let these doggos out for a wee. So that's the front and our view for the evening. Uh, Stephen watching his favourite YouTubers. I wouldn't say they were my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our view out the back of the rock. What an awesome park. Park up. So it's awful in pants and I've been craving some proper English grub so we're in Gibraltar and I've got steak by. There it is, she's just bringing me some gravy, yummy yum. So for those of you who don't know about Gibraltar like our friend Andy over there, it is a British overseas territory um, on the edge of the Iberian Peninsula. You can actually go over to Morocco from here, you can get a ferry. Um, it's on the Spain south coast, it's dominated by the Rock of Gibraltar which we went up yesterday to see the monkeys first settled by the Moors in the Middle Ages and then later ruled by Spain. This outpost was ceded to the British in 1713 and layers of fortifications include the remains of a 14th century Moorish castle and 18th century Great Siege Tunnels. Um, let's see what else it says. <coughs> In 1704, Anglo-Dutch forces captured Gibraltar from Spain during the War of the Spanish Succession. The territory was then ceded to Great Britain in perpetuity yeah. <laughs> under the Treaty of the Utrecht in 1713. It became an important base for the Royal Navy, particularly during the Napoleonic Wars and World War II, and is controlled by the narrow entrance and exit to the Mediterranean Sea. The Strait of Gibraltar, which is only 14.3 kilometres wide, this is a choke point which remains strategically important, which is why Britain don't want to give it up basically. But another interesting point, there's all this stuff in the media about 
people from Gibraltar wanting to be joined back into Spain and stuff. We spoke to a lady that was born here yesterday. She was probably in her 60s, weren't she? Like 50s, 60s, she was yeah. Really proud to be classed as a British citizen. So, all the stuff that you see in the media about people from Gibraltar wanting to be part of Spain again is utter rubbish. She was proud to be British, she was so happy, and she loved it here. So, there you go, take it from that way you want. So, we're just walking down, we don't know what it is, and um, we just passed the sign saying Wellington, Wellington's Front. It's like an old fortification, but they've obviously got rid of it to get. All of these luxury apartments here that are overlooking a marina with super yachts in. So yeah, it's made for the rich. So we just googled Wellington Front. It was built by convict labour in 1840. There were over 900 convicts working on the reconstruction of the walls and other defensive works. Sorry, there's loads of scooters around here. Off the front, um, off the front was an anchorage of the Owen Glendower convict ships which was renamed after a Welsh prince and base of the convict establishment. The ship's bell which is now on exhibition at Gibraltar Museum rang whenever a convict escaped. Eventually in 1875 it was found that it was cheaper to employ local labour as the convicts did not work hard enough to earn their keep. <laughs> we just had a look at Commonwealth Park but no dogs allowed. King's Bastion's up here. Um, so we can't go because we've got Ben with us. I'll turn in the van because they're lazy. So everybody's left us, um, we've decided to stay on an extra day because as you can hear, I feel pants. So we come for a little walk around the marina, um, Sue's loving it. Boats, planes. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. So yeah, um, we just decided because it's free, it, the Free Kings festivals will be on tonight. We know we've got a spot, we know we've got water, we know we can dump the toilet. Um, so we're just going to stay here and chill out because I can't be doing with the stress of finding somewhere else and if we get there it's full. Um, Andy's gone to have a look at the park up in Tarifa so he's going to let us know what that's like but I'm not moving on today. I just I can't, just chill. can't do it. So we brought the dogs for a walk around the marina. Um, it's pretty dull and windy <coughs> but yeah I'm just going to have a nice chilled day off. Chilled day, me, just me and you. Yeah. Romantic chilled day with a poorly person. <laughs> With my bread now. <laughs> um, I think I'm on day number five now, whatever this is. Still feeling rubbish. Last night was probably one of the worst nights. It was horrible. Um, but just, I'm going to chill out today. Go for a little walk with the dogs. It's uh, warm though, isn't it? going to go and have an afternoon nap. <laughs> just up the road and um, we kind of came in on this road you will have seen it on a sunny day on the kind of time lapse that I did that's the rock behind us just brought the dogs on this little beach uh, I think we're gonna set off back now have a cup of tea yeah on the edge of the marina you've got these little houseboats that you can rent proper cute aren't they yeah. they look really nice Looking forward to getting back to the van though and having a cuppa because I've done a little walk which took a bit out of me. So um, I'll show you where we are parked. I think I already have. Um, I think it's 14 euros a night, is it? What? To where we're parked? Yeah. <coughs> and you've got Elsan water, um, grey waste. That's it, no, no hook up. And as you can see, it's pretty dull today, but we're still pulling in a little bit of solar, so it's not too bad. So, um, we'll go back to the van, and have a little bit of a rest. 
Saving's just on a quick Google between 64 and 74 pound a night. But imagine in the summer it's well nice. It's pretty at night here as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a little. So you're coming through the barriers up there to get a ticket um, and then you go to the machine when you leave and feed the ticket in and pay your money then scan it on the barrier but you've got all the little motor caravan signs to show you where to go um, you can park up all along there all you can see the all the vans there so when we pulled in the first day, day before yesterday it was wasn't it yeah. we pulled in just on the right here um, and then we were like, the only space is over by the marina because we don't want to stay here. But a lot of the bigger vans, like the Concorde, uh, have to stay in these bays because they don't fit in the spaces where we are over there. <coughs> but there's a few big vans on it. So these bays that we just were parked on the other day, uh, we've just been past, we've got loads of prohibition signs stuck on the vans saying so don't park here. Um, we're wondering if it's because it's a free Kings festival tonight over in Gibraltar and they reckon the car park is going to be full but we'll see because we are in designated bay we're number 49 I think so we'll see what it says when we get back to the van <laughs> we think these are part of the designated bays because there's nothing on these vans here um, and the motor caravan signs do point towards this area obviously we're just over there behind the fence um, but yeah, there's no leafletting over here. <coughs> no, no, these ones here. No, there doesn't seem to be anything on the windows over here, so I think we're alright. Luckily, we're packed in a designated bay. Good flaming job, isn't it? <laughs> so we've come out looking for a pharmacy, which is over there. Yep. Nearly 15 euro, well, 15 quid for some paracetamol, uh, ibuprofen and shuffles. Well, expensive. Well, that behind us, it's like a proper traditional market. So we've just been another nose, but I'm still feeling rubbish, so we might go to McDonald's. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, <coughs> what, what an amazing place, the Spanish side of Gibraltar. There is loads here. Yeah, it's quite touristy I can't believe as well. We, we, I can't believe we've, we've not come in here until yeah, today. Glad we explored it. So we are in a very Spanish McDonald's, and Stephen's got a beer and a Sunday. On a, on a Thursday. On a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so, a successful little jaunt into town just outside of Gibraltar. Um, what's it called? That? Yeah. Gibraltar? No, it's not Gibraltar. So, it's called La Lina de la Concepcion. It is a little bit touristy. There's like uh, restaurants and bars and stuff. It's obviously very Spanish tonight because they're all celebrating Three Kings. Um, but as you can hear from me, I'm not going to be doing any celebrating. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> so I can go back to the van, put some new pyjamas in jib yesterday and put my new jammers on and you're going to chill for the night. So we will sign out from this beautiful place. Yeah. And by the way, there's a house with motors on the back. <laughs> yeah, there's a houseboat we were talking about before. Yeah, I didn't know they could move. That's why they call it a houseboat. Oh, I don't like this location. I'll just start my engines and move. <laughs> It's absolutely gorgeous here. Definitely recommend that you come yeah. and do this air on the marina. It's well worth it. Um, we will say it's a bit of a walk to get to the town bit of jib. About 15 minutes no, to the, to the, to, port, yeah, to, to the border. To the border and, and there's then, probably about 20 minutes. Yeah, We walked to the cable cars the other day and that was a good walk. That was a good yeah. 40 minutes. And I wouldn't that. want to ride my bike over there. It's just too busy. But over an hour. Yeah. So cars. if you were going to do it and you wanted to go to the lighthouse and stuff and get on the bus, bring a mask. Because um, Spanish trans uh, public transport, you need masks still. Um, I've just been in the pharmacy. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to wear a mask, but he was dead nice to me. So yeah, um, yeah. My voice is going, so we're going to sign out from Gibraltar. He's ticked one off his bucket list. <laughs> and uh, well, thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks very much, everybody. See you see later. You later.